Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to part two of this video. Um, this is creating a white underbase inside Photoshop uh, for screen printing. So, in the previous video, we uh, pulled each color, each top color here, and they are in their own channel, spot color channel. And um, as we mentioned before, the design is uh, it's kind of light there on the shirt color. Uh, we'd be printing this on like a steel blue. Uh, color of shirt and um, with the plastisol inks you know the the opacity just isn't there without creating an, uh, an underbase so let's go ahead and jump right in it and we'll show you how to get that underbase all right so the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate one of these channels over here and um, actually just let me rename these that way we can keep track so this first color is uh, like a gold and we'll keep that Pantone color name in there. The second one was uh, like an off-white. And the last one was uh, like a dark red there. Uh, for the rims. Alright. So we're going to duplicate one of these channels. Right-click on it. And uh, duplicate it. We'll pull that up here to uh, right underneath the shirt color channel, and we're going to change this to white. So double click the icon there, color, and in the Pantone solid color or solid coated uh, swatch book, I don't believe there's just uh, an all white. So we're going to need to switch to the picker, move that up into white, and let's say you're you know printing a white ink on a uh, a 180 mesh. I'll throw on a manual press or even the auto. It's going to be more uh, more than just 10% uh, opacity. You'd be, let's say, 80%. I'll change that to white base. All right. So now we want to um, choke this a little bit. That way, let's zoom in here. That way, when we print the top color. It uh, falls off of the white base and onto the shirt. Um, you can't really see the white base peeking out anywhere. Oh, that's a little bit right there. But, hey, it's just better to do it now than out there on the press. So, we'll turn this back off just to kind of give you an idea. And we're going to control click on the icon there, and that selects everything in that channel. And the first thing we want to do is go to Edit, Stroke. And we're going to do, uh, say, three pixels. And we're painting uh, white around this film positive. So let's, you know, uh, if we if we use white, when you output it to the film positive, uh, the only thing that you output is the, the, the black and the design or in the, the film positive. So using white, you are effectively uh, getting rid of the, uh, the color there. So, okay. And control D. I'm zoom in here and kind of show you what I'm talking about. All right, we'll make the shirt color visible again, and then we'll the, the gold color. We're gonna make that visible. Zoom in a little bit more. You see that edge right there? That is the the gold color falling off of the white base onto the shirt. So now you don't have to worry about the white base peeking out. And let's do that. Uh, I'm going to do that for the, this channel here. We're going to duplicate this. Okay. Make that visible. And I'm going to control click. And that's selecting everything in that channel. Edit. Give it a stroke. Now, so right here, being black, is going to uh, add color to it. And we can do that if you want to trap it or, you know, if you're choking the underbase. So right now we're choking the underbase. That's what this is going to be. And click OK. Control D. So now let's say we turn the other one back on. You see where the, the uh, it's showing ink. So now there's nothing there inside this channel. So now we need to apply that to the white underbase. And to do that, go to white underbase have uh, that channel selected, 
and see this one down here, it's uh, named off-white copy. We'll just get rid of that Pantone, so it's not confusing. All right, so now with the white base selected, we'll turn this one off just to uh, make it easier to understand. Go to Image, Apply Image. And so now we need to change this channel to the off-white copy. And so now, there you go. So now we have 80% opacity added to that white base. And since that is kind of an off-white color, uh, I think it'd look better, a little bit more muted when we print it. So we're going to drop this opacity here to, uh, oh, let's say 50%. And so now we're going to add 50% of the off-white copy channel to the white base. Click OK. And there you are. And to kind of see that, see the difference of what I'm talking about. We'll zoom in here. Now I've got the hand selected and we're going to move over this uh, shade here. And if you look down in the info panel, it's saying 50%. So there's 50% ink right here. If we output this as a film positive right now, turn off the shirt color. There you are. Makes it a little more easier. Uh, if we output this to a film positive right now, this is going to print as a half tone with our rib. And up here, where it's solid black, if you look down there in the info, it's uh, showing 100%, so it is going to print solid black. It's not going to print as a half tone. Okay. All right, so now we need to add the red color. Let's duplicate that. Okay, let's get rid of the Pantone color. Dark red copy. Click OK. And I'm going to control click. To select everything in that channel, edit, give it a stroke, say three pixels, control D, deselect, go back to the white base channel, and image, apply image. So let's say um, for this red color, change that channel option there to red. Let's say we want this one to print uh, 75%. Click 75. So it's going to make it a little bit darker. Click OK. And that's it. So now we have a white underbase, um, and we've choked the white underbase. Uh, that way, each color that prints on top will fall off of the white underbase. We don't have to worry about the white underbase showing. That visible. Let's zoom in there. All right. So see the, the edge there? That's the, uh, the off-white color falling off of the white underbase. Same thing with the red down there. So let's delete these two right here. We don't need to output those. And there should be some skulls showing down here. Yep. Okay. So now, let's go back to... What channel is that? Let's do it on the white underbase channel. So if you take a look at the skull here, um, it's uh, kind of rough, real light there, one percent. So I mean, this you know, I don't. We're not going to be able to hold one percent half tones. So let's go ahead and make this uh, skull a little bit darker. So we're going to go up here to the uh, lasso tool, the second one here, poly something, I don't know. And, uh, let's select the skull. Alright, so now we want to go to image, adjustments, and levels. We want to make this, uh, a lot darker. Right now we're at 1%, so let's take the levels and increase the amount of ink that's right there. There we have it. So that's 50%. So I'm okay with that printing at 50% um, half tones. Click OK. Control D to deselect it. And uh, zoom out there. Let's take a look. And there we are. So now we have the separations done with the white underbase and uh, the top colors are going to be falling off.
So that wraps it up for this video tutorial. So now we've created the white underbase uh, with the top colors and um, with the white underbase we gave that a choke. Uh, that way the top colors fall off. Um, so now we can go ahead and delete these other RGB channels up here. We won't need those. And then we can actually delete the shirt color. And uh, so now we need to add the registration marks. We'll save that for another video, adding custom uh, registration marks for outputting those to film positives. Um, we do offer separation services, so check out the website, learnhowtoscreenprint.com. Uh, you can save time. We'll do your steps for you. And uh, we also output the, uh, the film positives, and we can uh, mail those to you. So we can handle the SEPs and the film positives. Just head over to learnhowtoscreenprint.com and uh, check it out. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Happy printing.